Well, good day, model road runners. Today we are going to look at the tank car oil loading platform, and it's a cornerstone kit from Walters, HO scale, and our item number is 933-3104. So let's open this up, see what we got inside. And it normally comes in a plastic bag, but I've looked inside already. We've got our instruction sheet, some decals or decals, and the kit itself. Doesn't look like too many parts, there's two sprues. So let's take a look at the instructions and get underway. Now the one thing that most of us find with the instructions to a lot of these cornerstone kits is they're very, very vague. So before even getting started breaking into the sprues and getting started on your model, go over the instructions, take a look at all the parts, read special instructions in case you're doing something different like adding a second one. Like I said, just go right through all the instructions once, twice. Really get a grasp of what you're looking at, what you're going to be looking for. So now we'll head over to the model itself and see what we want to do with it. So of course, right after looking at the instructions, any parts that you might want to paint now, while well, they're on the sprue, so you can just kind of make a muck -a luck type of job of it. So, as you can see the handrails on this, parts 7, 5, 4, and 6. So we got 5, 4, 7, and 6. So I'm going to paint those right now. And maybe even there's the other side, there's the railings going up the side of the stairs. So I might even paint those first. So get that done and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the parts all painted up that I want. We got handrails over here. And can't really tell, but I painted those gray. That's the spouts. And we move over a little bit. And I got the walkway painted olive drab along with the stairs. And then the rest of the handrails. All nice and yellow. So we'll wait for this to dry. And we're gonna start putting her together. Okay, so we've looked over the instructions twice to make sure that we understand. Highlighted the part that says if you're going to put two kits together, you're going to leave out these parts. And then highlighted the parts. Because my memory is pretty short, so. And to make it safe and easy. So going through it, the first part that it says, and that was pretty hard. Glue parts three to parts two. Hmm. Done. Now this part here. I suggest you do it one piece at a time. You take part 14 and then you take part 16, 17 and 18 and put it on respectively. I'll show you guys that on camera actually. So these parts here, this part here in the center, if you put it on backwards will not line up. So just keep that in mind. So do the first one, then do the second one, then do the third one and then set it off to the side keeping it labeled number 14. Same with the top, pipe number 13, and you put the little pieces in and see what I mean about they're all lined up. So you really got to watch when you put them in there. So we're going to leave them there now and let the glue dry and then move on to the next part. Now I got to say, this is one kit that you do have to do one piece at a time. Even doing this deck and putting the railings on. And as you guys can see, part 24, you're not supposed to put any glue there. 
That way that part can go up and down. It's a little bridge type piece, right? So what I got is one half of it done and it fits underneath. That way you see it like that and that's supposed to go up and down. This side was really hard for the simple fact that you have to glue this underside under here, whoop, flip it over, and then make sure that piece there stays flexible so it can go up and down so no glue can go in that spot. Now you guys can see all the glue marks I got on there. Pain in the butt. So this time, and I'll show the next clip in a minute, but I'm going to glue about this much of it right here, and I'm going to let that dry. Then I'm going to slip in this piece here, number 24, and then I'm going to glue this piece over here. So it's like a two-part process just to make it a little bit simpler on yourself because like I said this fits underneath so I'll show you what that's like here in a second. Okay so the first thing that I noticed that's really really hard on this model is putting this decking together with the guard or with the handrails on it so if you have one of these flip knives like I've got like so open her up and it fits perfectly on there so you can let it sit and dry. Just a little hit. Hint, tip, trick, not sure. But this one's almost dry so we're gonna see if we can get that uh, last little piece on there and then that'll be done. Now for the next part while the uh, platform's drying, which incidentally I had to use super glue on, so it is a kit that you have to do one thing at a time and let it dry. So here we got the bottom pipe on, and that's the middle leg. Okay, so I went a little bit farther and I got all three legs on there. So now we're going to let that dry. And then soon we got to put the top on, but these little pieces right here, right there on the end of my finger, well, they all go right there on the end of those pipes. So we got our trusty tweezers. We're going to get a little bit of dab of glue put on the cardboard. We're going to dab it and put it on there. And we're going to do that before we put the platform on. Just so we can reach it. So, see when I got that done. So, a lot of parts on this model are very, to put it mildly, painstaking. Ones I guess I could have used my fingers on, but get those on there and then try to get them so they're sitting upright. Uh huh. And again, waiting for that piece to dry because if you don't, it'll just knock over the other piece. So. Slow and steady wins the race. Now, got all the little spigots or connectors or whatever all glued on there. Like I said, one at a time. And another little hint though, if you do have one of these fold up knives, perfect for holding onto it while this part here glues together. So we'll be right back when this is all dried up and we can start with the uh, tubing part. So see you in a bit. Okay, so when you get to this point, if you're going to be putting two kits together, you have to figure out which end's gonna have the stairs on it. And then the other end you're gonna leave open. And that's where the next kit will go into. And when you put this piece up here on the very top, it's got four holes on the top. These pipes from here to there go into those holes to hold them still. So keep that in mind when you put this top piece on that you have to be able to see through those holes straight down to these pads where the pipes are coming up. So again, we have to let this dry because if you get messing with these pipes into that, you'll just bust this piece off again. And the stairs are just on there with a little bit of glue right here at the end. So again, you got to let everything dry. 
and then come back to it. So, might be a small model, but this one takes quite a bit of time to get her all put together. So, when this dries, we'll see you then. Okay, so these last little parts here, these come and you can kind of see a hole in the end of that. Well, that's two pieces down here at the end. So, what I found the easiest to do so far, and hopefully it's going to work, is put the bottom on there, glue the top on this piece, and then slide it off the end, and that way they can dry this way. So we'll let all these dry, and then we'll do the final part of the assembly, get it all together and see what it looks like. So hold on to your hats. Okay, so again, with this kit, you got to go very slowly, do one piece at a time. So I got those on there. And to do the next part, well, you got to wait for this to dry. Because now you got to start playing with the top on this side. You'd move this side, this side will pop out. So, just wait for everything to dry. 15, 20 minutes. And we'll get to the last two pieces. Okay guys, so we got the first kit built, and I am going to be doing two, so there'll be a second video out on this. But, final thoughts on the tank car loading platform. Well, first thing that I can say about this kit is, if you need one on your layout, or want one on your layout, get two. Because, trust me, the second one's going to be easier to build. With the instructions that they give you, there's even a misprint on here that... There's some numbers on the sprues, but they don't match up with the numbers that are on the picture. So and that would be number 27 and number 23. These numbers don't even exist on the sprue. They're completely different numbers altogether. So follow the instructions to a T, but like I said, when you're doing this kit, it is a kit to do one piece at a time. It's a not a hard kit to put together by any means but it is very time consuming like I said you have to do one piece at a time and let it dry. Uh, super glue I used on this one just because I think it was because I painted the handrails first and the model glue I've got is just the testers red stick thing but with the glue, with the paint that I used, it wouldn't stick to the paint that I used on the uh, walkway. Overall, my thoughts is once the kit is done and sitting down and you can look at it, very, very nice looking kit. Um, but like I said, if you want one of these kits on your layout, I would suggest buying two of them. The first one's going to be a really rough build for you. It's, like I said, time consuming instructions your best bet is to go on YouTube and hopefully there's a couple more videos out there and if you're doing one of these kits do a video of it and uh, how you put it together and it helps out that's that's what this community is all about is helping everybody and trust me building this kit right here you're gonna need a bit of help so I missed a lot of parts on the piping but I don't think people are going to worry about it too much. Hardest thing that I found on this, and hopefully you guys can do it a lot better than I did, was the walkways that come out the side. They're supposed to be free, so you can move them up and down. And by the time I got this kit done, there was no way that they were going to be free. So I think I'm just going to glue them on there. But like I said, in my second kit, I'm not going to paint anything. And we'll see how I can match this kit up with the second kit. So, we'll see you in that video later on. All all out of 10 for this kit. Building wise, I give it a 3. Very time consuming. Very hard to kind of manipulate the parts. And like I said, let things dry first. Do one thing at a time. Might be a good kit if you got another kit on the go. This one can just kind of fit in there every once in a while. Takes about a half hour for each piece. That's just my thoughts though. Overall looks of the kit, 
once you're all said and done out of 10, I'd probably give it an 8. And other than that, when I go out and buy this kit again, well, like I said, I've got two of them. And I have started the second build, and like I said, it's a lot easier the second time around. So if you want one, buy two. If you need two, buy three. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later on. And I hope this video helps out a few people if you're doing this kit. Well, loading platform. So, till later on, guys. Bye for now.